Do, 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 do. Mana, mana. <laughs> All you guys are gonna have that in your head now. Last April, Smoke Wagon, the popular Las Vegas-based bourbon brand, announced Uncut the Younger, a more affordable four-year cast-strength bourbon, the younger brother to the sought-after Uncut Unfiltered. I'm always up for trying something new, Smoke Wagon. Let's see if this bottle has the potential for a following like its older brother. It's the Mash and Drum. What's up folks, I'm Jason C from The Mash and Drum. Smoke Wagon Uncut the Younger uses the same philosophy used to create a superior, affordable, and easy sipping bourbon. Aaron Chepanik, the polarizing master blender, said it was a challenge to blend younger whiskeys and balancing a harsher medicinal finish with oakier flavors. Did he manage to do it? First, take a closer look. All right, guys, before we get into trying this bad boy, a quick word from the good folks at Shaker and Spoon. Thanks to them for being a recurring sponsor, and a big thanks to you, the viewers, for being here, because without you, none of this stuff would happen. You guys have heard me talk about Shaker and Spoon before, and I love their subscription so much that I decided to make some more cocktails and show you just how badass these boxes can be. So included in the box, you get all these different recipe cards that guide you through mixing and garnishing each cocktail step by step, and you even get a glossary that explains any unfamiliar bartending terms. Each box includes all the ingredients other than the alcohol. You have to supply your own alcohol, but you get about enough ingredients for 12 cocktails, four from each recipe. Everything you need, syrups, bitters, garnishes, infusions, hydrosols, and all sorts of crazy stuff. So today I'm breaking in a new box named Kickback with Cognac. Now I love Cognac finished bourbon, so why not make some cocktails with some Cognac by itself? Let's make this thing. So first things first, spiced strawberry syrup. Well that just sounds freaking delicious. And I need two dashes, not just drops, but two full dashes of Angostura bitters. Let's mix it up. All right, strain into a rocks glass over a fresh large ice cube. All right, last but not least, a spritz of lemon oil. Never seen that in a cocktail, but we're gonna... Oh, there we go. I think I did two spritzes. All right, let's give it a go, cheers. The lemon and the strawberry together is, is really nice. All right, so while I drink all this, let's recap real quickly. Uh, Shaker and Spoon is a monthly cocktail subscription box that will deliver these craft cocktails to you. Again, each box has three recipes created by world-class bartenders and enough ingredients for 12 total cocktails. But click the link below in the description or use this code right here, Mash and Drum, at checkout for $20 off your first box. Now go get some fun cocktails delivered to your door, share with your friends, enjoy your summer, and I'm gonna keep drinking this. Cheers, everybody. So the journey to create Uncut the Younger began around October 2020. Aaron tried a straight bourbon blend before proofing it down and created this crazy fruit forward and sweet flavor profile. Being able to offer an affordable cast strength bourbon that could be one of the core expressions and a high proof lover's daily sipper was the goal. Now Aaron believes having superior and affordable bourbons is essential. Most of the big bourbon brands do have a core cast strength bottle in their lineup. I do think it's very important, especially for the modern day bourbon drinker. Fast forward to today, we have Uncut the Younger, consisting mainly of four-year, 36% rye bourbon from several floors and warehouse locations from MGP, I'm sorry, Ross and Squibb. I'm never gonna get used to saying Ross and Squibb. I'm just, I can't. It sounds too much like a damn, like a law firm. <laughs> ABV on my bottle is 57.97 ABV, so that's 115.94 proof. Price for this is around 50 bucks. All right, let's get it. Holy cotton candy. I mean, strawberry cotton candy in a glass. I mean, if if Aaron was looking to create something more fruit forward, nailed it. 
Holy hell, this is like a Smarties candy, strawberry uh, cotton candy, like I said. Definitely some juicy fruit gum in there. I mean, there's some oak there, but it's pretty faint. I mean, the sweetness and the, and the candiness, <laughs> I should say, is extremely forward. You dig down deeper, I get like this cinnamon pancake note, which I know sounds weird, but yeah, it's like this bready combination with cinnamon. It's a good idea. I'm gonna put some cinnamon in my damn pancakes. That sounds good. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's super sweet. It's super candy forward. This is um, this is nice. I feel like off the nose, there's gonna be a lot of folks that like this one. All right, let's try it. Cheers. That's really nice. This is, I don't even want to say this. I don't know if I should say this because it'll make people go, you know, just ape shit for this whiskey. <laughs> I don't know if I should say it. I, I want to say it's like Buffalo Trace with a finish on it, which is very exciting because Buffalo Trace stuff for the most part for me is kind of boring because to me it doesn't have a finish. This has like that sweet candy, um, fruit forward profile that I get from a good amount of Buffalo Trace products, but Buffalo Trace never really has a finish to me, it just finishes with nothing. This has all those flavors, but it has like this cinnamon, black pepper, doughy, almost like, uh, like, like donut, like fried donut finish on it. Yeah, tons of vanilla up front. The strawberry cotton candy is there. I mean, pick your candy on this one, guys. I mean, you could pick up, there's a little Swedish fish going on, and there's like a hint of cherry here. Go along with that strawberry. I think it's kind of a mix of both. Man, the cinnamon, the, God, the juicy fruit gum. There's like a hint of, I'm gonna need another sip of this. Oh, actually, that sip, it came off slightly darker. I think a little bit more of the oak just kind of jumped in. The oak, a little hint of barrel char. But it's still very bright. It's still very in your face, sweet, candy. Holy hell, this is, um, I mean, if this could be more readily available, I mean, again, Smoke Wagon could have a huge hit on their hands because this is a really nice flavor profile. I love the use of the 36% rye in this because it just gives, it's not, you know, maybe Aaron was thinking, you know, it's too sweet to have a low rye. It's gotta have some kick somewhere. Maybe the rye makes up for that intense sweetness here. Yeah, I'm starting to get more cherry in the nose as this opens up a little bit. You know, the one thing that's not super prevalent here is the one thing I always look for with MGP or Ross and Squibb, which is a, like a big citrus punch. And I think it's there. I think the citrus is there, like the orange peel or lemon, but I think it's masked by that um, by that intense like fruit forward and like ultra candy sweetness. But really what makes this is kind of the balance of it. Is that as ref is it as, as refined as uncut unfiltered? Well, let's check. All right, so here's my latest bottle of uncut unfiltered. For all of you uh, batch hounds out there, this is batch 138A. Yeah, the noses are night and day. I mean, the nose on the uncut unfiltered, the big brother, let's call it, is way more oak forward, way more refined, a little bit deeper into those caramels and those richer vanilla notes that you get. And I'm getting more of like that charred citrus note on this. But you know, they get that cinnamon and kind of like that cinnamon graham cracker note that I, that I love so much and MGP and some of the blends that uh, they do at Smoke Wagon. All right, let's give this one a go. Yeah, this has the richer, darker flavors that I think a lot of people have come to love with Smoke Wagon. Man, that's a damn good batch. It's just so rounded, refined, a little bit of chocolate punch on there too. Man, just really good flavors in these. Now, let's go real quick to the younger, to the younger brother. Yeah, it's really profound, the difference when you compare them. Now, it's gonna depend on the batches, obviously, but this uh, particular Uncut the Younger really comes through when you compare it after going, after coming from uh, Uncut Unfiltered, uh, the Big Brother bottle, the Younger, Uncut the Younger, just, man, that candy note and the sweetness really comes through. 
But the thing that lingers on both of them, the, the kind of the, the, the winning formula here, is that peppery, cinnamony forward finish. A little bit of that graham cracker, a little bit of barrel char. You get a little bit more in the uncut, unfiltered, but the younger has it enough to balance out all the sweetness. I mean, it's it's really, really good. I'm, I'm actually pretty impressed with the uncut, the younger. I think I was a little bit skeptical going in. I really wasn't a fan of calling it uncut, the younger. I don't know if I really dug the name. I do get where it's coming from, but man, who am I to question Aaron Chepanek and the folks over at Smoke Wagon? Yeah, this is just this is just Aaron doing what he does, just blending some amazing whiskeys together. I think he found a really good formula to blend some of the younger stuff together. I love that it's the 36% rye, a little bit of that higher rye punch because it's a lot sweeter up front than the regular uncut unfiltered. If you guys could find this for 50 bucks. Now, I'll say this, being a smoke wagon and just smoke wagon in general, I guarantee there will be folks that uh, stores or online retailers that upcharge this because it's a new smoke wagon and it's, you know, it, it's, it's a newer offering. Um, but remember, and please remember this, this is meant to be a more affordable, budget conscious offering of smoke wagon. So if you see this at 100, 150, 200 bucks, just wave your middle finger at whoever's selling it for that much and walk on by, okay? This is, I'm not gonna say it's in the same ballpark, but there is a lot of really great blended MGP out there. Just because it says smoke wagon on it doesn't mean you should be overpaying for it. I mean, you can look at brands like Penelope and other brands like that that actually are blending some uh, some younger MGP and doing it with great success. So cheers to Aaron Chepanick, cheers to Smoke Wagon. If you guys get a chance to try this one, I would highly recommend it. It's really good. This is gonna go against some, some really stiff competition, rare breed, Penelope barrel strength, and some of the other more affordable cast strength bourbon. So we'll see how it does. And with that, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the subscribe button below. Please hit the like button. If you haven't yet, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. Let me know if you've had this yet, what you think of it. And as I always say, it's not about the whiskey, it's the people you share it with. So cheers. See you next time right here on the Mash and Drum. Take care, guys.